so when we talk about trends and technological uh, developments okay uh, we see that uh, now currently with the uh, coming and with the advent of C uh, advent of cnc technology new things are coming up they are now getting integrated with the new systems new uh, machine learning artificial intelligence etc so these are some things which are coming up nowadays in the current cnc uh, technological development and trends so what are those trends and uh, how do we uh, see cnc system uh, based on those trends let's take a start so cnc technological trends so in the background you can see that these are the companies which are cnc or nc developers these are the machine companies that are very famous and they are currently in the process of integrating new and latest systems in cnc technology okay so uh, when we talk about uh, gnm codes now there is a process to uh, basically change the gnm codes to step nc or standard for exchange product model data now people are trying to change gnm codes to a new and easy machine learn language learning i can see myself also sometimes i am getting confused which code to apply g01 g02 g03 it's a little bit tricky so what happens is that you get confused and the machine operator who have a lot of experience also sometimes they all are also in trouble so for creating complex uh, parts and for creating complex geometries people are moving towards a new or relatively newer uh, system which is step nc uh, technology this is one of the trend now with the uh, before corona or before covid previously the global cnc market was very good companies like delta fanuc haas automation mitsubishi and siemens were getting superb uh, orders and superb uh, global growth and you can see in america in europe and in uh, southeast asia the growth rate was almost more or less the same here you can see in 2016 as well that cnc technology was used in machine tool semiconductor packaging other handling systems and in other uh, industries so they are relatively mixed when it comes to uh, the ratio by which the growth is increasing <clears throat> if you take a look at the global market distribution then milling and turning are accounting to around about 70% of the machine tool or machining process which are being carried out so what you have learned in the class is more or less about milling and drilling okay milling and drilling contributes to around about 60% of the machining so all together drilling milling and turning are contributing to around about 90% uh, of the machining process which is being carried out to create and manufacture parts when we talk about the success or growth rate then cagr basically is a term compound annual growth rate cagr this is the rate of return that would be required for an investment to grow it is based on the formula that the beginning value of the product and the final value of the product these are two commodities so based on this how much is the percentage profit or annual growth can be perceived so when we talk about machining uh, and cnc technology then we need to see what is the cagr value of the Uh, cnc technology so the cagr value of the cnc technology is for uh, southeast asia is growing very very quickly it's around about 44.8% it means that cnc technologies is is one of the uh, technology which is coming up very quickly in uh, southeast asia and in other european countries it because it is already saturated and it has developed it's not coming up that fast and where is this growth uh, targeted this growth is targeted towards automotive electrical machinery and other sectors so among all the end use applications the automotive and transportation segment is estimated to account to about nearly one third of the overall value of the opportunity created across the forecasted duration so the forecasted duration is 2020 to 2030 so it means that we the cnc technology uh numeric control technology has a very good prospect for the next 10 years as well 
so those people who are working in this sector have good chances of growth as well next now covid came corona came so what is the impact of corona and covid on cnc and machine tool market so what has happened is that it has severely impacted the machine tools imports and exports however because of resilience because of the companies who have done very good profits in the previous year they still have got good risk analysis and they are still competing there are some good companies which are have not even uh, taken the impact of covid so dmg okuma and japanese corporations such as komatsu are the ones who are doing recovery at this stage next we move on to uh, 2010 to 2020 machine tool output so as you can see that the output was increasing uh, for 2010 to 2020 however post covid what happened what happened in the united states in the last 30 days when it was 2020 april was that the total utilization of the cnc technology decreased similarly the 70 moving average if you see for uh, us okay all the uh, for 2020 the, there has been a significant decrease in the cnc system the more there is a decrease the more there is a chances that after the recovery it will increase okay so it means that uh, initially throughout the year there is a significant amount of orders and then as the year progresses the amount of orders decrease as well and with with respect to the number of years 2018 19 and 20 uh the the outlook remains almost a bit same however for 2020 due to covid the production utilization has decreased as well so if you if you want to download these trends and if you want to go and see okay what is the outlook of the industry you guys will have to download these expensive reports which cost around 5400 dollars so it's not easy for anybody to access the trends and current developments these are a major part of economic uh, growths which are basically studied by the think tanks and then what happens is that they put their findings in very expensive reports so if you are looking forward to see what is the outlook of global machine tools the you will have to pay around about 5400 dollars next what are the major key players when it comes to uh, uh cnc technologies some of them are uh, written fano siemens these are the companies which are making cnc controllers okay uh so if you if you take a look at global cnc controllers uh, now they are looking forward to create a uh, five axis or even multi axis cnc machining system so these were some of the trends uh, which have been set up or which the industry of to, wants to move on next is what are the latest cnc technologies what is going on currently okay what is something uh, how is cnc evolving so the first thing uh, which comes to mind is that how the current in information technology is impacting our technology cnc technology how computer science and mechanical engineering or manufacturing engineering is going to integrate together so the best way for them to integrate together is the implementation of computerized systems the latest uh, internet of things machine learning artificial intelligence embedded systems uh, sensors actuators etc these are the things which are required to be applied to our mechanical and manufacturing systems only then only we can realize the uh, impact and true potential of it with respect to or combined with manufacturing so i will open a video for you guys to see this is jim he is a manufacturer and owns a manufacturing plant his plant has many things at one place such as a supply chain and chain in the back office all these things generate lots and lots of data like transactional data erp data crm data and public data These are all the things together which empower and enable his employees to connect with customers and business partners. Now, even though Jim's factory looks well equipped, he still faces several challenges. During the production process, machines stop working frequently without any notice, or sometimes the control system gets many errors at the time of product manufacturing. Even when Jim gets a lot of data, he cannot use it to predict the outcomes he wants. 
So, what could be the solution for Jim's problems? SoftWeb's IoT solutions are the best option for Jim to overcome these challenges. Whether it's a machine failure, problems in control systems, or getting accurate results from the data. Let's see how these IoT solutions can help Jim and his team. The Internet of Things, IoT, starts with the things installed in the manufacturing plant, the things that matter most to his business. The first step is adding sensors throughout the factory. In this production unit, IoT systems can help in monitoring production flow in real time to eliminate waste and unnecessary work in inventory production with the help of the sensors installed in the conveyor belt. All the data gathered by the sensors is sent to the cloud for analysis and creating predictive models. Not only this, but it will help engineers in implementing condition-based maintenance alerts to eliminate machine downtime and increase output by predicting machine failure. IoT can also help management to manage machines remotely, knowing temperature limits and other settings to save energy and reduce costs. With the collected data from sensors, operations managers can see their production line status and recommend adjustments to manage operational costs using data visualization tools. The R&D department can get insights from the usage patterns of multiple clients and track their equipment failure, enabling Jim's company to re-engineer products for better performance. On the other side, his field service management can identify when to deploy the right resources for predictive maintenance to minimize equipment failures and reduce service costs. With all these solutions, Jim can now tap into data with IoT dashboards and uncover actionable intelligence. He can also modernize how he does his business. IoT is a combination of sensors, cloud infrastructure, data analytics, and visualizations that helps you create a smart manufacturing unit. To know more about how we can help your business take advantage You guys just saw the impact of IoT on how it can be implemented in industry and how we can use it for enhancing the production efficiency, the delivery efficiency, etc. <clears throat> so same is the case of machine learning. Machine learning is basically a sub part of artificial intelligence in which we take the data from the machine, analyze it and then help to solve the problems uh, of the machine itself by feeding some algorithm which will help the machine solve its own problems and take actions immediately or give us the recommended actions that can be taken. So machine learning is also a part of Internet of Technology, IoT, th Internet of Things. So here is an example of uh, implemented IoT system for uh, a manufacturing industry this is powered by IBM technology okay in this IOT system you can see that you have plant manager you have got line operator and you have got uh, fleet management okay uh, if you see here you can see that you've got four line of uh, six lines line one two three four five six and then line six is completely disabled you can see line one has got two machines okay green shows that the line is working very correctly at a very good efficiency then uh, yellow shows it is working at a reduced efficiency and red means that it is working at a critical efficiency then you have got overall effectiveness of the equipment o double e which is currently at 41 percent we have the downtime average this is these are some things which are directly given to you as a part of internet of things iot system okay and how many orders have been achieved so out of 1392 until now 1136 orders have been achieved so if you are going to click o double e or overall uh, equipment uh, utilization then you will can see that it has been less than eight percent in the past uh, three days and we are go getting five percent less than the targets so these are the cumulative kpis which can be generated directly from the iot manufacturing system if you can see here overall equipment effectiveness then here you can see the machines what is the downtime what is the hourly rate okay why it what is the faults which is coming up so there is machine jam fault which is coming up too much okay uh, there is empty magazine door two is open so these are some of the faults which are coming up and they are reducing the downtime okay uh, you can see the downtime kpi as well this has been mentioned here as well the downtime kpi can be observed and these are some of the major reasons because of which the downtime is coming so these are some of the indicators that you are getting directly at the tip of your fingerprints on your smartphone on your computers 
next we see the order count whether we are achieving the overall kpi so it looks like uh, the weekly deficit has been 577 orders today's deficit might be three because of the fact that the machines are not operating at the correct uh, efficiency so the artificial intelligence uh, based iot things is going to predict whether you are going to complete your orders etc as well based on its uh, algorithms next if you go to the operations or fleet management then it is also going to give you uh, what is the outlook of your fleets what is the delivery time deliveries uh, what is the current status of each and every single thing so every single thing now is automated and it is based on ai and iot systems which can be implemented and that is where we are moving towards smart industries or uh, what you call smart uh, systems <clears throat> so how do, the question is how do these technologies are helping cnc innovation okay so iot or internet of things is basically one of the uh, factors because of which cnc technology can be improved how you can monitor whether the machine vibration level are exceeding or not you can monitor how much is the production rate that you can get you can monitor how much is the power requirement how much is the equipment downtime and you can detect which parts of your machine are moving towards uh, end of lifetime so that you can order the replacement in time and the order takes place directly as well through ai technology <coughs> next is how it can help us that with iot and with these things we can do greater parts complexity okay we can get more accurate and precision uh, nowadays with uh, the current uh, precisionness we can get turning accuracy of one to two micrometer this is almost equal to how precise is this this is equal to human red blood cell because human red blood cell is 0 0.7 micrometer so at cellular level also we can have extreme efficiency next the rise of multi axis machining system so now we are moving and approaching towards machining systems in which you not we have one axis two axis three axis but we are moving towards five axis machining center what is this five axis how what does it means let's see uh,
So with the advent of five axis machining, we can now get uh, very complex shapes and uh, products such as what you saw in the video was basically an impeller, uh, uh, pump impeller. So these are some of the technological advancements which are coming up for CNC system and CNC machining. And these are the technological advancements that you are going to observe for all the topics of manufacturing. What I will be teaching in rapid prototyping also. IoT is going in rapid prototyping also. IoT is going into laser welding also. IoT is going into casting also. Each and every single thing will be integrated and embedded with IoT and machine learning systems. Okay. So this was all about CNC system and CNC machining. Uh, topic uh, 